What you are looking at right now is the Google Keyword Planner, a simple tool that you can use to find the number of people who are searching for particular keywords related to your business and product offerings. And in today's video, I'm gonna give you a super simple walkthrough on how to use the Google Keyword Planner. To get started with this, we just need to be logged into our Google Ads account. And from there, we need to navigate over to the left-hand menu bar until we see the Tools section. This will then take us through to the different tools available, and we want to select the Keyword Planner. As you can see here, this is going to bring up a couple of different options available to us. The one that we want to begin using is Discover New Keywords. Click on it. And this is then going to take us to the section where we can begin looking for keyword volume and by location. Now there are two options available to you. You can either start entering in keywords. So in this example, let's do a keyword that is relevant to my business, which is digital marketing agency, and just hit the enter bar after that so that the keyword now appears in blue so that Google is going to do a search in the tool here for digital marketing agency. If this option is a bit much to you and you want to shortcut it a little bit, we can go over to the start with a website section and you can then enter in your website URL and Google will then scan your website and look at some of the keywords which your website has on its homepage and services pages and then you can get results from it there. But we'll come to that one a little bit later. Let's go back to starting with keywords. I've got digital marketing agency. Let's say we also want to look at a keyword which is related to a service I offer, which is Facebook ads. So Facebook ads agency. So now that we've got two keywords right here and we are looking at also uh, the location, we've got New Zealand. Now, if you want to expand that out, you can always add another country in relatively easily. So let's say we want to target Australia as well. We can see that both countries have been highlighted in blue and we can press save. If we want to go down more specifically to a particular area in one of the countries, we can just type in the city that we want to target and exit out of the country. So you can see now that only one part of New Zealand has been highlighted, which is Auckland here. That's great. Let's select save. Now that we've done that, we can now click on the get results button. And what this is going to do is automatically generate some keyword options by relevance to begin with. Now, if we scroll down, we can see that there is a whole range of options that is available to us right here. So you've got the keywords that we entered in, which is digital marketing agency and Facebook ads agency. Now, the most important and interesting part of this is that we can begin filtering it down by searches per month. So if you click on the average monthly searches and click on it up at the top, it can filter down from top to bottom how many monthly searches there are for particular keywords that are related to the keywords that you entered in as well as keywords that you provided. So we can see here that there are a lot of monthly searches for marketing, digital marketing, uh, digital marketing, digital marketing, digital marketing agency, 4,400 searches a month. That's all very fine and good. If we want to start looking at trends to see where people have been searching for some keywords more, we want to have a look at the three-month change and year-on-year -year change. So let's go to the three-month change and have a look at how many people have been searching for some terms on a three-month basis. And we can go down until we see the 200% increase for online digital marketing agency. Wow, that's quite a change. Over three months, there's been a 200% increase, and year on year, there's been a 350% increase. Now, what does all of this mean? What does the things like competition mean, for example? 
Well, the competition on the keywords is basically how many other people you are competing against on particular keywords if you choose to put these keywords into your campaign. Now, the keywords which have a low ranking are the keywords that you want to go after because you don't have too many competitors and it is more likely that your ads, if you set them up correctly, show up at the top of the page. If you see a medium competition, that means you're going to have slightly more competitors and the cost per click to show up on page one of Google for that keyword with advertising is going to be a little trickier. High competition means that you are competing against multiple people and it is very difficult to show up at number one on Google Ads for that keyword. So if you are trying to compete on looking for digital marketing services, that's going to be quite a tricky one. So you're going to make sure that your ads are in tip top shape and that you set them up correctly. So what is the other fields right here? We've got ad impression share, which is not relevant right now as we are just in the research stage. And we've also got top of page bid and top of page bid for low and high range. Now, that is basically the cost of what you would be looking at per click to show up on page one of Google at the top. So let's start adjusting these and you'll slowly see some numbers begin to appear up at the top of page bid for the low and high range. Now look at that. We've got $20.26 for the low range, $42.08 for the high range, and that is for online advertising companies. So if you've got a campaign that you want to set up with the keyword online advertising companies, you have got to be prepared to pay between $20 and $42 to show up at the top of the page. Now, that is a lot of money. However, the good news is the competition on that keyword is quite low. So if you've got a good converting page, then your chances of converting these people that are searching for that keyword into customers is reasonably good. Now, another thing that you might have seen as well while we were doing this is that we have got additional keyword suggestions that Google has placed in. We've got marketing agency, digital marketing providers, brand activation agency, marketing strategy agency, and advertising agency. If we click on these keywords and add them in, you can see that that keyword now appears in the products or services related to our business. And if we click on get results, it will bring up some new keyword suggestions that are updated in accordance with that keyword we have added in. If we add in, let's say, online advertising agency and get results for that too, it's going to update that again. Now, the other thing that we want to remember is that we've got the column section there and that allows us to filter some of the things that we are seeing here so we've got <clears throat> the competition indexed value, organic impression share, and organic average position excluded from that. But we've got all the other tabs as well. Now, if you're just doing the research stage and you're just beginning to do the fundamental groundwork for creating a campaign, you probably can take out the ad impression share section because it's not relevant to the initial research for you right now, unless you've been running Google Ads for a while. So you can pull that out and we can click apply and we can see <coughs> the updated sections here over in the Google Ads. So you can see the competition indexed value and then what that does is it shows how competitive ad placement is for keywords, particularly in the search network. So it's on a ranking from one to 100 now, I'm just going to let you look at this, so you can just pause the video and look at the description there so that you've got a good idea of what exactly it means. All right, let's move on to the next section. So if we go back to Digital Marketing Agency, we've got our keywords. Let's go back to the Start With A Website one. We've got 
our website in paidadvertisinghelp.com and you can choose whether you want Google to go and find some keyword suggestions based on the entire site or just on your home page. I'd recommend for beginners using the entire website that you have and then click on get results. And what that is going to do is it's going to give you some keyword options as well. So remember, if you are a bit challenged with coming up with different keywords that you want to rank for and you just want Google to give you some suggestions off the bat, you can just put in your website URL, copy paste it in, use the entire website, get results for it straight away. And we can see we've got a couple of good suggestions coming up already. If we categorize that by monthly searches, we can see that some of the best keywords that we can start looking at ranking for is advertising ad agency, for example. If we go right down, 1,900 searches a month, 19% increase in the last three months, and three to nine dollars per click. We can see that the competition index is not too bad either, so we can begin looking at creating a campaign around that. So just make a note of it, keep a nice Excel sheet um, with the keywords, or if you want to really be smart about it, you can go up to the top section here and download all of those keyword ideas at once. So that's a quick look at the Google Keyword Planner, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you got a lot of value out of it. If you like this video, don't forget to smash that like button down below and consider subscribing if you are new to the channel and want ongoing Facebook and Instagram marketing tutorials and tips. We post new videos every single week. And if you have any questions about the content that was covered in today's video, you can always leave a comment down below and I'll aim to answer your questions as soon as I can. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next tutorial video. Bye for now.